What is up guys, welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to be looking at team of the season Henri, or should I say Henry because that's what the fucking commentator calls him in the game. So there's a couple of players that the commentator says uh, wrong names or completely different names than the actual player that is on the ball. Like Carlos Eduardo, he calls him Marquez or something like that. So if you guys know any other players that, uh, you know, are called by different names, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you guys are looking for coin, check out UT Coin Traders. Their link will be in the description. So to begin with, this guy is very, very expensive. Surprisingly, even though he's only 85 overall, I don't understand this. He seems very rare or people aren't opening enough packs. Yesterday on the PS3, he's going between 400 to 500k for an 85 overall player. That is pretty insane. But then again, it is the legend on Re. So how does he play on the pitch? Is he an improvement over the inform as you guys already remember? Um, I have reviewed the, uh, reviewed the inform just last week so I could compare both. Very good pace to begin with. He, he feels much faster than his card stats. It is just unbelievable how fast he is. I think it's because he has very high uh, agility and very good dribbling as well. One of Probably one of my favorite finishes in Ultimate Team to be honest with you guys. And I did try him out in a couple of positions. That's why his game to goal ratio isn't too high compared to the Inform. The Inform I tried him just as a striker while this one I tried him as a center attacker midfielder center forward and a striker finally um, as a striker he feels best in that position obviously because you can take advantage of his amazing heading I don't know why in the game it shows he doesn't have good heading but he did score me quite a bit of headers I didn't put all of them in the video I wanted to show more variety in his goals but he does feel really good in the air and from corners especially, he's re he's got really good positioning in the penalty area when you're taking corners. But his work rate does leave him, you know, he can be out of position sometimes when you're counter-attacking your opponent. That is the only problem I have with him. But this wasn't a huge, you know, occurrence where it's always happening in every single game. It happens every now and then. So he feels very strong for what his in-game stats are showing as well. Very, very strong uh, defenders were struggling and it was just so funny to see. And I think there's a clip where I put where a defender just couldn't just get him off the ball pretty much he has full star weak foot and full star skills making him even more complete as a forward and cutting in from the left or cutting in from the right shouldn't be much of a problem he's got uh, very good long shots and shot power there was he doesn't really need to take a really good touch to score you a very good long shot you will see that in the clips he's got very good free kicks as well but i didn't uh, manage to score any um i did come close to scoring one though amazingly reliable finesse shot because his finishing is so high in this game probably I feel his finishing is probably 99 because he just feels so easy to finish with in my opinion and his because his finishing is so high his finesse shot seems very easy to you know just take advantage of but that is pretty much for team of the season Henri so what you guys are waiting for is do I recommend him for me he was the best striker in the MLS so if you want if you're making a team and you want the best striker possible make sure you get team of the season Henri so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did I'd really appreciate a like and also don't forget to let me know in the comment section below who you want me to review next and as usual guys I really hope you have a very nice day